Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to our Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC Let's Play and this is episode 14 and uh, uncle that's exactly what not I'm now afraid. you're distracting me I'm trying to do my intro <laughs> oh my gosh why <laughs> go away uncle go away go away okay <laughs> this is episode 14 <laughs> without further ado or any more distractions let's get straight into the gameplay shall we all right so we are here at camp and we've got a mission here with abigail so i'm gonna go have a chat to her let's see what she wants hello abigail hey arthur what's going on Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but Don needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him. Oh, instead. mission with Hosea. I love it. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. All right. Let's go see what Hosea has for us. Brilliant. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff looked kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. So we stole it from them, and we're going to sell it back to you them. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. I feel like that's not well, going to go going down too well, but All right. let's try. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. Goodbye, Mr. Marston. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Well, I remember, okay. I remember the, the, the deputy you know the sheriff saying yeah, that the... So what exactly the I think her name was Catherine Braithwaite. This is the moonshine she likes um, expensive still, right? purebred horses. I think horses. Good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. This is such a cool, I've like, been, well, like helping drive, driveway? It's not really a driveway, you but, like, entrance. To the property. They don't seem too involved in the rest it's of really, it. really cool. Maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. I don't want to get too in the middle of it though. The only hope is that they hate each other so much they don't see us slip right through. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. What's that in the back there? Got oh, some shine. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mm. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, she's at the house. All right. Let's go chat to you, Miss Catherine Braithwaite. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver. Proceed, please. Hmm. That's my name now. Driver. Oh, and Hosea. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it is. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way mm -hmm. we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. <laughs> oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? 
pay the man. Mm-hmm. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Ooh. Oh, hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, man. Some free you merchandise to tell me how you made out. peak the interest. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. I like her. All right. Next stop. The She's got oomph. Here we go. All right. So we're gonna go give it away for free. They are not gonna like that. Wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. Oh. Oh, you sold the Cornwall bonds. Finally. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Ooh, keep, keep robbing him. Effort on going after gangs, gangs like us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've robbed him like three or four times now. That doesn't surprise me at all. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood view. <laughs> yeah, like I say, we we literally just thrust ourselves into the middle of it. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot. <laughs> I'm the clown. You're the idiot. <laughs> I like where this is going. Sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Well, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> oh, thank you, good sir. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? No. Oh, you can't speak. You're turned idiot. Mm. <laughs> Jose has to be one of my favorite. Uh, my favorite there. characters. Fenton. Oh. There, there. Don't get mad. What's my name? Fenton. That's got to be in the caption on the title of this video. Fenton. It's just going to be the word Fenton. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame. He's you really enjoying this. Strangler in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. And I'm Fenton. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys... How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? Go along now. Enjoy the money. Two come bucks on, a piece. Whoa, whoa, guys, come on. Just hand out the liquor. Let's go sell some free drink. Sell some free drink. Let's go give out some free drink. Oh, this way. He's like opening, holding the door open for me as if I'm supposed to go through there. Gentlemen, my name is Mel. And I'm Finn. That's my brother Finn. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Finn to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we <laughs> buried her. Oh, <laughs> <Poor> thing. Ah. 
Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. It's your lucky day. Was it going to be a little mini glass? Did I say mini glass? I meant mini game. It's just taking the bottles. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's mayhem. It looks like it's been a lot longer than 30 minutes as well. Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Don't be scared of Fenton. He rarely bites. Oh, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> Oh, it's getting crazy. Keep them coming, Finn. Just keep them coming. <laughs> Drink up, Drink! Whoa, whoa. Uh, Who are these guys? Good oh, evening, it's the Lemoyne Raiders. Quiet libation. You, me, you're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Joe, no, we're no, in no. advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get them. All right. Oh, oh, quick work of this. That's what he's saying. What was he getting? Okay. We got him. Oh, that's not good. I'm coming, Melvin. Fenton's <laughs> on on his way. What? How does? All right, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> question it <laughs> it's all over the balcony I get down and he's just sitting in the in the car no oh, this is not good We were supposed to keep ourselves calm in roads. Well, this is going to be fun. Poor horses. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That wasn't worth it. Oh, I'm sorry, horses. Reload. Oh my gosh. There we go. We still got a few bottles left. See any more of them? Some for camp. So. That was crazy. Woo! Jesus, oh, it's over a few bottles of booze. I reckon it's more that don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Yeah, I think we should just destroy. 
of this. This wagon. Alright. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah, that's for sure. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well... Let's call it a peace offering. Not a bad idea. That was fun, Finn. <laughs> we'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Yeah, we caused a bit of a ruckus inside of Rhodes, though. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. Oh. I mean, you sure? if they're so distracted with each other. Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody going to know we was here. Because even without the worst us, idea. these fools are going to kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose has gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, hmm. too. Now, you can meet up with them or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. So I can either go over to the Braithwaite's or to the Greys. So the Greys was something about horses. Let's see. And Sean is Braithwaite Manor while they ingratiate themselves. That's a big word. Or I can meet John. All right, let's do. You know what? Let's go with Hosea. I like Hosea. I like John as well, but. So far we've had a fun time with Hosea. So let me let me make my way on over back to the Braithwaite's place and then we'll see what we have ourselves. Where's my horse, by the way? Never comes with a Where? Where is my horse? Oh, that's not good. Okay, well hopefully I find my horse. I'll see you guys there. What on earth is going on over here? Because we are here today for a very special occasion. Oh, wow. That we reestablish sanity and supremacy before it is too late. Our numbers are waning, thanks to the fools in Congress and their ludicrous... Oh, wow. I true. have the best plan for this. But today, I don't know. <laughs> Goddamn hooded rodents. 
I'll kill all you bastards. Ah, <laughs> uh, you get what you deserve. Anyway. Oh, they, they're busy investigating me. They should give me a prize for that. Come on, Blizzard. Come on. Alright. Hello there, good sir. Hi there, mister. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. Alright, that's enough. You went somewhere else. Along now. All right, gentlemen. All right, let's go see what is in store for us in the Braithwaite Manor. Very nice house. Hello there, sir. Please come in, sir. This way, sir. Find joys of tobacco. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this <laughs> one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Funny. Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> oh, I like Hosea. Okay, so we're going over to Calico Hall. That's the gray plot, isn't it? I'm Pop sure. On. I'll fill you in on the way. No, oh, I'm thanks. driving. Fine. What is this? Is that a thing of moonshine? Looks like it. I don't want to drive. Ready? They always Let's make me drive. All right, Sean, tell us what's happening. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat hmm. and pull it clean out of his ass. The smoke fucker. Okay. Sean really has zero so to She wants us to torture tobacco fields. No, oh, fair they enough. Rain and weeks round here. What? Using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking it's hell about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the hell, bitch. Jose <laughs> <laughs> really picked the right fella for tea in the manor. Oh, uh, well, that's for oh, sure. He was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, come on for sticking to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Yeah, Jose, no, you mean so both. Does he though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So Have some far, respect there, the young son. Try to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons I'm going sure you do. All the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right. That doesn't sound like the best idea to leave Sean yeah. and do all the talking, but I uh, guess it's the only one we've got. Can this cart not go any faster? It's going so slow. I normally drive these things like a maniac. It won't let me. Come on! <laughs> and this is as fast as it's letting me go.
Ugh, that's annoying. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know yeah, what? they do know me. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> It's only the tip of my eye rifle that's sticking out. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Well, this is going to be interesting, oh, to there. say the least. Yep. What you want, boy? I've. I've. There, there was a thing. A, a, a thing. At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. No, this guy's You're brilliant at talking. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you know, oh, I'm, uh, bribery. <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. We're going backwards, Sean. Sean? <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, I don't know what fine happened there, but <laughs> we're going the right way now. I think. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work. I doubt you guys can hear that. <laughs> so there's a massive a storm in my place now. Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of this guy's right like now black, black, here, black, black. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Alright, what's the plan? Get so we there. knock this guy out and then we right, go torch the fields. Sounds like a brilliant plan. You know what, Sean? You actually did a, a half decent job. Well done. Sure as heck can talk a whole heap of crap though. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them. Big houses uh, mm. out in Donegal. Sneak out. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on sh <coughs> Good night, sir. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Yeah. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. 
And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock. Boy. Yeah, we're gonna make it. I was barred one of down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. We're gonna make a lot of mess. I'm gonna use my throwing knives. There's someone coming on the left. Oh. already arrived this one didn't strange so what you got there tools payroll okay drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields sure see you later you hear that payroll yeah could be worth robbing Let's get this job done first okay just let me deal with our friend here hmm Mm, good night. What? You tell the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. All right, let's get into the field. That's good. All right, that's good enough for this one. We need to wait for this guy to turn around. There we go. Perfect. Let's make a run for it. Quickly, quickly. Nice. That should do it. I wonder if I can go over to this carriage now. Doesn't look like it. Crazy. Yeah, I just need to get past this dude. It's a real stealthy mission. Hmm, I can imagine. He's watching tobacco fields the whole time. Then I have to go over th this way. Okay, I feel like I need that guy to turn around. Think. Oop. And definitely that guy. Maybe that guy won't be able to see us. But I definitely need this guy to leave. See, maybe if he stops here, I can run behind him. Actually, I think let's make a break for it. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. We were lucky with that one. All right. This looks like the last field. Yeah. Oh, you go, Sean. We gonna milk this too. <laughs> I got him first. Oh, yeah, my throwing knife back. Can I do it as well? Nope. Oh. Okay, this one's this one's ready.
Let's get this one. Alright, that should be good enough. This is blood and I'm so used to double clicking for the. Well, not even Braithwaite. But it's nice that they think we are. Actually, it's perfect that they think we're Braithwaite. Let's take out this one. This is a goddamn mess. There goes out right out of here. Come on. Oh. Yeah, and it's got payroll on it. Wow, how did I miss all of that? Come on, you want to go? Is a huge people go. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're going this way. I am burning up. I need some food. Okay, I I do. Oh boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, but let's go. Looky here, you get them horses free, Martha. Come on. Come on. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Hey, let's get out of here. It's okay. This is a fun mission so far. Oh, come on, show me. Leave some of them for me. Yeah, that was a heck of a lot of fun, actually. That's one of my favorite missions so far. Definitely. Hmm, horses are already out of stamina. That's nice. Miss Blizzard. Maybe the same color, but not the same. Oh, we made a right mess. Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, yeah. I hope him and Jose are We've really wedged ourselves the into the middle of this one. Well, what now? <clears throat> Head on back to camp. You coming? No, no, no. I'm gonna... Sure. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Anyway. While this little... This little cutscene rolls. I think that is gonna be the end of today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to leave a like down below or any feedback in the comment section and consider subscribing if you want to see more of this stuff and uh yeah this was this was a fun episode i like this one we really really starting to make our a name for ourselves and in, inside of roads starting to really wedge ourselves between these two families whether or not it works out is gonna be a whole nother question but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.